It's my feel-good breakfast show. Storing your clothing and ensuring that they keep their luster and uh, quality all through to when you take them out again doesn't need to be a daunting affair. So today, Algae and Omo Auto Liquid switch us on to how to get the best results. And joining us in studio is our resident fashion guru, Alexis Shafay May, to tell us how it needs to be done. Alexa, so good to see you. Always good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're halfway through winter, mm -hmm. and I know myself and a lot of people out there are already starting to pack away the bulkier items in our cupboards. What are the do's and don'ts? Because every year I have haikis in my clothing. Ah, hey? I think the most important thing is that your winter clothing, including your coats, need to be clean yeah. when you store them away. Otherwise, you're going to get a moth infestation oh, and maybe some other little creatures that are going to claw their way into your beautiful yeah. closet. So you really, really need to make sure that those items are clean. Also, when it comes to that first day of winter next year, you know okay. that day when you don't know what to wear and you grab that coat, you want it to be clean. Yeah, yeah. So make sure that you've done all your cleaning in advance. You know, this is the time of year that you look at your coats, your your cardigans, okay. your sweaters, your scarves, your beanies. Yeah, yeah. And make sure that all those are definitely cleaned up. All right. And then you need to kind of work with the space you have and get yourself, you know, invest in some nice airtight containers, garment bags, those vacuum packed bags. Mm -hmm. Just in that declutter the size, you know, desizing what you need to store is very, very important. Okay, now I know you mentioned cleaning, but what are some of the particular washing tips that we need to incorporate to make sure we have longevity of our clothing? You need to definitely ensure that you don't have any stains on your garments. Okay. Otherwise, if you're going to store them for the next few months, by the time that you actually pull that out the closet again, mm -hmm. that stain is completely set in and it is actually impossible to get out. So you need to follow your wash care instructions. You know, knits especially are, you know, very kind of prone to shrinking. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be very careful of your spin cycle, you know, how long it's in there for, you know, the temperature of the water. It's all very important. It's all there on the label. Yes. And, you know, also when it comes to cycle, you know me, I always say a cool, delicate cycle is your safest bet. Okay. But LG also have a hygiene cycle, oh. which is great for freshening coats. Wow. And it's also a great one to do when you put them into the closet and also when you take them out again. Yes. And also, a really good tip please make sure that your clothing is a hundred percent dry before you pack it tightly yeah. into that closet or that airtight <laughs> container. Otherwise, you're going to open it and your whole wardrobe is going to really smell. Yeah, so. I feel like you're speaking to me right now. So I'm yeah. definitely, I'm paying attention. I am paying <laughs> attention. When it comes to folding and storing your clothes, what's the best way to go about it? Because I know it's not good to just throw things into a black bag and pop it into the cupboard like no. I do. Yeah. yeah, you need to be <laughs> clever with the space that you have. Yeah. And I always say that, you know, messy storage is storage space wasted. Yeah. So you really need to work with what you have. So if you have hanging space available, then put a couple items on one hanger, zip them up into a garment bag, store them that way. Or if you have more shelf space, whether it be in your closet or your garage or maybe even a storage container, then you need to get these airtight plastic crates or even you get these zip-up fabric bags. That means you can pack the knitwear tightly, yes. but it is you know, completely you know, protected from whatever the outside environment is, especially garages. Yeah. Your clothing can get really, really dirty if you just leave it in like a bag that's open. It also ensures that you don't get any creatures. We spoke about the creatures. Yeah. So, you know, a nice airtight container. Also, my tip about the vacuum bags. You know, these are amazing. You just fold a few garments, you put them in, and then you attach your vacuum nozzle to it and you suck the air out of it. I know. So a bag that's this big, that's packed mm. with your bulky items, yeah. you know, like your duffel coats, yeah. goes down to this. Yeah. And that's instantly so much easier to put under the bed, back of the closet, on top of the closet, or whatever your space that you Wonderful. have. Wonderful. Nice. It's like the gift that just keeps on giving. Oh, Alexis, you are amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. And, of course, we'll chat more to Alexis later on in the week as well. Well, there you have it. Now I bet you're wondering whether you should go and check on summer clothing that's currently in storage to see if there's any moth bites there. Thanks to LG and Omo Auto Liquid, you now know how to make sure your wardrobe remains at their best. Ilana, I'm sure you've saved some of those tips as well, right? Switch on to Omo Auto and LG. Perfect partners for all your laundry needs.